What we have here is a uh, United States Stove Company. Uh, I believe it's the model number 2500. Their Country Hearth Wood Stove. Um, it'll take a 21 inch log and uh, I believe it's a 6 inch flue on there. It comes standard with a blower attached to it in the back. Um, it has a uh, zoom in here. Has a drawer in the bottom of it for ashes when you're uh, getting too full in the firebox. There's actually a metal plug in there. You just pick it up with a poker and you can shove your ashes through and then empty the drawer into your ash bin outside. Um, I also have a shovel with it. Obviously you shovel the ashes out when it gets too bad and then get them out of the house. Um, one thing I always stress in all my videos is safety. This situation here, I've got a remodel going on. Um, but uh, as far as clearances, I'm within the limits of what they're saying for manufacturer away from walls. Uh, I've put on, uh, for here, three layers of concrete board. In between the concrete board, each layer, I have sandwiched um, two layers of sheet metal. And I, I don't remember the gauge. It was a thicker gauge. Uh, I want to say it was like maybe a 20, um, an 18, something like that. It was uh, something I used for... Uh, when I solder as a heat shield and I doubled it up so and then below that those three layers you would have your deck you want to have this up on uh, some stone when they say you want to have you know when you're putting one of these in you want to have two feet in front of you you definitely want that two feet in front of you because you get ashes and stuff bounce out of here just for uh, safety sake you want to be able to do that an item to pick up if you get one of these is buy one of these uh, I'll zoom in on it here it's a magnetic thermometer it attaches just right to the side you can put them on the flue too to see what your gas is doing right now you see that sweet spot right there I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more see if the camera clears on it and that's it right there we're right sitting smack dab in the middle of our burn zone but it's right where we want to be um, helps you to control it so you're not getting into an overburn situation um, I know sometimes they recommend having them on the flue right there I've had them up there, and I, I tend to like it right there on the firebox. Seems to do the trick. Um, there's a fan, I think I mentioned in the back. It comes on the uh, standard on these. You just basically flip the... Uh, there's a motor switch down low. Slide back behind here. I'm knocking everything over. You can see there's a fan right back there with a switch you turn on. I rarely run that. There are other times I have. Typically, I just use a couple fans in the room. Pull the heat out of here and dump it in the other parts of the house. In a pinch, this thing will heat my entire house. Um, i got a farmhouse that's kind of stretched out and the walls aren't insulated real well. So um, it struggles. But this thing's rated for 2,000, 2,500 square feet at I believe 112,000 BTUs. And uh, it definitely does the job. I've had this thing for several years. Been very impressed with it. And... Uh, moved it around and uh, uh, just overall the, the unit is definitely a, a, a good performer and I haven't had any issues or complaints it burns well takes a little bit to get them going it is a bigger unit you just gotta get that firebox warmed up and then you're good to go uh, I'll cover um, the outside piping on another um, on another video one thing if you're buying one of these i believe this one is about 1700 there's a smaller version for about 1200 uh, i had picked this one up i think from uh, northern tool but you can uh, just bank on the fact that when you buy one of these you're probably going to have almost as much money in your piping as you are in your cost of your wood burner because yeah, piping is ridiculously expensive, your uh, triple wall venting and your double wall venting, depending on what the code calls for in your area to attach up to the side of the house. So just keep that in mind when you're factoring cost on it. But if you're looking for a roundabout unit that's a mid-range price, that's a great performer, I highly recommend this. Again, it's the uh, United States Stove Company Country Hearth model, and this one was a 2500 series. Thanks for your time.